You can find flight tickets at extremely cheap prices with budget airlines like Spirit, Frontier, and JetBlue. However, the basic economy fare doesn't include a checked bag or even a carry-on bag. To take advantage of the low price, you need to travel with just a personal item. In today's video, I'll be sharing some genius travel hacks that are going to allow you to bring everything that you need for your trip with just a personal item allowance. The first hack for traveling with just a personal item is to check in for your flight online. There are two reasons for this. The first reason is that airlines like Spirit are going to charge you an extra fee to check in with a human at the airport. The second reason to check in for your flight online is because the agent checking you in in person has a scale right beside their desk making the check-in process a prime opportunity to weigh your personal item. If your personal item is heavier than what the airline allows, you will need to pay a fee. So the best way to avoid having your personal item weighed would be to avoid the check-in counter altogether. You can check in for your flight online during the 24-hour check-in window and receive your boarding pass by email, which is going to allow you to head straight to the security gate and completely bypass the check-in agent. The next hack would be to use a carabiner to clip your second pair of shoes to the outside of your personal item bag as opposed to trying to fit the shoes inside your bag. In an ideal situation, you are only traveling with one pair of shoes, the ones that are currently on your feet. But if you do need to travel with two pairs of shoes, wear your heaviest shoes onto the plane and then clip your lighter pair to the exterior of your personal item. Let us know if you plan to fly with just a personal item by leaving personal item only down in the comments. It's not easy, but definitely doable. In addition to wearing your heaviest shoes, the next hack would be to wear your bulkiest clothing items and then layer up as you go to get on the airplane. You can really take this hack to the next level. I've worn jeans underneath loose sweatpants and tank tops underneath t-shirts, underneath sweaters, underneath a winter coat. If you do decide to wear multiple layers of clothing as opposed to packing that clothing inside of your personal item bag, you may want to bring a plastic bag with you onto the plane. This is so that once the plane takes off, you can remove some of those layers and put them in the plastic bag so you're not absolutely roasting on the flight. When it comes time to get off the plane, you are able to carry that plastic bag with you in addition to your personal item backpack on your back since the flight has already ended and they are not able to charge you at this point. And to take advantage of the next personal item hack, do make sure that some of the layers you are wearing have pockets and then make use of those pockets. You can store items in your jacket pockets and then see if you can find a jacket that has interior pockets as well. My rain jacket will almost always have items stuffed in the interior pockets. Don't forget about sweater and pant pockets as well. The next hack is to additionally layer up with some sneaky travel gear. I personally use a flip belt to keep essential items close to me, and then on top of the flip belt, I will add a fanny pack. Put the fanny pack around your waist and then turn it to the back of your body as you go to board the plane. Be sure to cover it up by pulling your jacket over top. While you may not be the most fashionable passenger, I can guarantee that you are going to pay the lowest price. But don't worry, the next hack does not involve adding any more layers or any more items to your body. Instead, you will want to bring a shopping bag or hang on to a takeout bag from your dinner or lunch at the airport. You are allowed to bring your own food onto the airplane and many people do including myself. But if you need some extra space, instead of actually bringing your food, use the takeout bag and instead of putting food inside of it, add any additional items that did not fit into your personal item bag. You will most likely be allowed to carry a bag of takeout food with you onto the airplane in addition to your personal item. While it's unfortunate that a standard carry-on suitcase is no longer included in your flight ticket, you can use these hacks to avoid paying any additional baggage fees and just travel with a personal item. Be sure to subscribe so you can join me back here for more travel tips and hacks next week. Thanks for watching and safe travels! Bye!